All right, so welcome to the deep dive. We're diving into performance-based learning and development today. Sounds interesting. It is, and you know, we like to go deep. Yeah. And to help us, we've got a ton of resources from this guy, Guy W. Wallace. Oh yeah, I've heard that name. Yeah, you know, just articles, presentations. He's even got YouTube channels. Wow. All available for free on his website. It's crazy. That's really generous. You don't see that too often. Yeah, it's clear that this guy is passionate about L&D. Um, but before we kind of get lost in all this, who exactly IS this guy W. Wallace? Well, he's been a leader in L&D for, I don't know, how many decades now? Wow. His website's like this historical archive. Oh, really? Yeah, you can go way back. I love those. And on top of that, he's written over 40 books on the subject. 40 books? <gasps> wow. So what's like, what's the one big idea that connects all of his work? It all comes down to making learning actually matter. Okay. Because, you know, a lot of traditional L&D is focused on just delivering information. Right. Did they sit through the training? Check. But Wallace, he's all about the impact, you know? Right. He wants to see people change how they perform as a result of that learning. So it's not just about checking boxes, but about actually seeing results on the job, right? Yeah, exactly. How do we move beyond those check boxes and actually measure that impact? Well, this is where he introduces some really interesting concepts. Definitely. Things like performance guides, oh. learning experiences. I like that. What are those? And these aren't just like buzzwords. Right. He provides actual philosophies and processes and tools oh, wow. to help people put these ideas into practice. So can you give me like an example of what this approach looks like in action? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. He did this video for Eduflow back in 2022 okay. where he really lays it all out. He talks about the importance of knowing exactly what behaviors you're trying to change okay. to improve performance and then crafting these learning experiences that really target those specific behaviors. So instead of throwing information at people and hoping something sticks, uh, it's about designing it. It's targeted. Strategically. Absolutely. Love it. And what's interesting is this isn't something new for him. Right. He's been saying this for a while. Oh, really? Like back in 2000, he gave this presentation called 99 Seconds. 99 Seconds. Interesting. And it's still relevant today. Wow. That says something. It really shows his vision. Yeah. Speaking of history, I was browsing through his website. Yeah. And it's very well organized. Like I was really impressed. It is. By year, you can track his thinking. It's amazing. I love that. And, you know, I think that organization shows how committed he is to sharing yeah. and helping people improve their L&D practices. It's like take it and run with it. Exactly. I love that. Here's everything I've learned. I remember one quote from his website. It said, um, it's not all about learning. It's all about performance, even in a learning organization. What does that mean? That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, I like that one. It really gets to that need yeah. to align L&D with real business needs and yeah. outcomes. So you're not creating training just for the sake of training. Right. You're asking like, okay, what performance are we trying to improve? Right. How is this training going to make a difference? So you're being really intentional. You got to be strategic. With your efforts. Yeah. That's a huge mindset shift. It is. For a lot of people. Yeah. So you can apply this to your own work too, right? Absolutely. Instead of just thinking about, okay, how am I going to deliver this training? Think about how is this going to improve performance? How is it going to result in positive changes in their day-to-day -day work? Exactly. That's a good one. Yeah. I like that. That's a question to keep in mind. Yeah, I'm starting to understand why he's such a respected name in the L&D world. Makes sense, right? But his website is a lot. Where do we even begin? That's where things get fun. Yeah, it can be a little overwhelming. I Just bet. so much information. It's a lot. Where do you even start? Well, I'd recommend checking out his article. Okay. It's called Performance-Based Approach to ISD. It's a good one. ISD? Yeah. Instructional Systems Design. Yeah. That's a systematic way yeah. to design and develop training. Okay. So like a blueprint for creating training that actually gets results. Exactly. And in the article, he walks you through like a nine-step ISD process wow. with like tips and examples. That's awesome. That sounds super useful. Yeah. You mentioned his YouTube channel too. Oh yeah. Those are great. What can we find there? Like mini master classes. Ooh, I like that. On all sorts of L and D awesome. topics. He covers everything from needs analysis okay. to performance consulting. We need some of that. Evaluating training effectiveness. Perfect for like when you need a quick little like Yeah, quick hit. L and D wisdom. Exactly. I love it. And he's just such a good teacher. Yeah, he's very engaging. His enthusiasm is contagious. 
it makes me want to like dive into well, this world. It makes you want to learn, right? It does. It makes you want to learn and apply it yeah. to your own work. That's the point, isn't it? Yeah. I have to admit though. Yeah. I am a little intimidated. I get that. Like, what if I try these ideas yeah. and it just totally flops? That's a valid concern. Yeah. And it's something that he actually talks about. Does he? Yeah. He acknowledges that there's going to be a mindset shift. Okay. And you're going to run into challenges. So how do we overcome those challenges? Start small. Okay. <laughs> Don't try to do everything at once. Right. Pick one thing. Okay. Maybe just one area. Okay. Apply the principles and see how it goes. Like a pilot program. Yeah. Like a little test. No, no, and no. as you start experimenting, you know, you can gradually expand. So it's a process. It is. Of continuous improvement. Exactly. And that's something else he talks about. Oh, really? You've got to evaluate what you're doing. Okay. And be willing to make changes. So it's not like a one size fits all. Not at all. Kind of solution. No. Nope. You have to adapt it. You got to adapt it to your specific needs. Makes sense. Yeah. What works for one company might not work for another. Or one learner might not work for another. Right. Okay. Very true. It's all about being flexible and creative. Okay. And keeping your eye on the prize. <laughs> that performance. That's it. So we've covered a lot. Yeah, we have. And I feel like there's still a lot more to explore. Oh, definitely. But what's like one final thought you want to leave the listener with? It's more than just you know, a bunch of techniques. No it's really a philosophy. Oh, wow. Like a whole new way well, of thinking about L&D. So it's not just following a set of rules. No, you got to right. adapt okay. to your own situation. Right. Because what works for one might not work for another. Exactly. Okay. That makes sense. So be flexible, be creative, Never. and keep that focus on performance. Okay. I like it. It's like where the magic happens. Wow. You make it your own. That's when you really get it. Yeah, you unlock it. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to embark on this journey. It's a fun one. It is. This guy, W. Wallace. He's amazing. Has completely changed how I view learning and development. He's a pioneer for sure. He is. And his website is an incredible resource. It really is. Especially for someone like me who's just kind of getting started. Yeah, it's all right there. It's all there, free for everyone. It's amazing. So if our listener is ready to kind of take that first step, what would you recommend? Start with his top posts and pages. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That section on his website. It's a great way to get a taste. Yeah. See what grabs you. Of all his thinking. Yeah. And then you can go deeper from there. It's like choose your own adventure. Exactly. I like that. There's something there for everyone. Well, we've covered a lot of ground today. I have. I'm feeling inspired. That's great. Thank you so much for taking us on this deep dive into Guy W. Wallace and performance-based learning and development. Absolutely. It was my pleasure. To our listeners, I encourage you to check out his work and see how you can apply these really powerful ideas to your own efforts. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. <laughs>